My name is Carl, and I would like to tell you how I came to Krishna Consciousness. It was around, um, let's say, 10 years ago when I was 18, 19. I was finishing school, and I got interested in metaphysical matters and esoteric teachings. And I tried to make sense of all those different opinions that could be found in various books. And my father at that time, he also was very interested in such things. And one day he started talking about reincarnation. He is actually an atheist. <laughs> But he started talking about reincarnation, it's the only logical conclusion and so on. So that brought me into this direction. I was doing some research, reading some books, but still I was very frustrated. And um, I was, it was after school, when I had finished school, I had graduated and I was um, kind of in a, a gap year and I was trying to read some books, get some knowledge. And I was also like, I like to analyze my mind. So when I woke up in the mornings, I tried to analyze the content of my dreams and so on. And um, as I increased my, in as my interest for metaphysical matters increased, I also got very much interested into Hinduism and such things. And one morning I was uh, in this state between sleep and waking up and I had this very, very clear image in my mind and I just couldn't make sense of it. It was two people doing some strange things. They, were, they looked very strange and I was thinking, well, I don't know what it is, but this image is so clear. It is uh, such a strong impression in my mind. I need to remember that and someday I will find out what it means. So I was reading some books, I heard about the Mahabharat, and I just couldn't find a good copy of the Mahabharat. Then I read that the essence of the Mahabharat is the Bhagavad Gita. So I was looking for a Bhagavad Gita, and uh, I was typing it into a search engine on the internet, and I came to Prabhupada's Bhagavad Gita as a PDF file. I opened that file and on the very first page there was this image of Krishna and Arjuna on the battlefield of Kurukshetra blowing into their conch shells and when I saw that picture I could immediately recognize it was the very same image that had appeared uh, in this dream that I had. So I was very interested in that, I was interested in Hinduism in general and when I started my university studies I moved to Leipzig. and. Let's say two weeks after I arrived, I saw a Harinam party approaching the train station and I was struck, oh, I have heard of these people, but I don't know who they are. And I was telling a friend afterwards and he said, yeah, they are quite active here. Um, you can see them on the streets. And two days after that, I saw two brahmacharis distributing books on the streets. And um, I told a friend that I had um, seen them and he said, yeah, well, that's probably good for you. Uh, he was kind of joking with me and uh, I got hold of those books, Bhagavad Gita, Ishapanishad and so on. And I was invited for the Sunday program and uh, that was actually the very first time I came to a temple. It was the uh, Sunday program and it was coincidentally the Govardhan Puja and that was the very first impression or the very first contact I had with the devotees. And that was basically the start of um, my interest in Krishna consciousness. And since then, I've been coming regularly to the temple. And uh, I'm a regular guest at our temple programs.